Hi, my name is David and thanks for visiting my, my video. Uh, today what I was going to show you guys how to do is um, work with paths and to create some different style of text. Uh, so what I've done here is I basically, this is going to be the finished product, what we'll create quick. So we're going to go ahead and delete this out of here and just start with an 8x10 sheet. And we're going to use Verdania Bold just because that works pretty well for, for the purposes of what we're going to do. So I'm going to type in here funky text. And what I'm going to kind of cheat this a little bit because I want to kind of end up with the width about the same as the funky. So we're going to kind of do something like that there. I'm going to drag some rulers out just so I have a reference point. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to right click on the text layer and select the pixels. And now what we're going to do is go take the cursor over the, the selected area and go ahead and create a work path. And now we're going to delete this, this uh, layer here, the funky text layer, because we already have the path. So what that does is that leaves us the path to work with. Now we're going to walk up and we're going to go up here and grab the tool, the, the path selection tool. And then come over here and just click on, on these and you can see how it pulls up the different uh, points that you can pull on. So right here, what we're going to want to do is go to one of the corners and we're going to grab the corner here and just pull it down. So to do that, we're going to have to push the command the command key because we want a little white arrow, not the black arrow. So we're going to grab the white arrow and pull it down. And then we're going to just kind of move over and we're going to go ahead and grab some other pieces too and just go ahead and cheat some of the other things over too. And just kind of do something kind of funky and different with it. Let me dr drag another one out there. Give me something to snap to. And you can pretty much just do whatever you want with these. Is just sort of create a different style, grab things and kind of pull them around a little bit. And it can sort of add a different dimension to what you're doing. So, and once we have that, now all we have to do is, um, we're going to go ahead and clear the guides. And what we can do is we're going to actually create a new layer. It's going to be an empty layer. And then uh, basically the, the paths are on here also. So what you're going to do is right click on there and just fill the path. And we can fill it with a color. So we're going to just pick the red that I had chosen already. And that just pops the color right into the paths. And then what we can do is double click on the, on the layer, which pulls up the layer style palette, and just do a quick bevel and emboss. And we can kind of just make any adjustments in here that we want to make. Just kind of change it up a little bit and click OK. So now we have that done. Um, pretty simple technique, uh, just to sort of change the style the type style a little bit so it's not your average type style and this will work on other things too so if you have um, pretty much anything else you want to create a path you can move it and adjust it however you'd like uh, thanks for visiting the video if you like it just make a comment or if you have any questions please comment and i'll try and get back to you